Now you have some basic knowledge of syntax, you have a lot of power to move forward with learning C Sharp. It is very important to learn the names and terms used by developers around the syntax of the language to help you speak code with other developers. Unlike all the acronyms for patterns and frameworks that are not important, learning the names used for syntax is very important to have consistent names and terms used when talking about syntax. Think of it like learning a new language. If you're learning French and you say the wrong word or pronounce it incorrectly, then the other person is not going to understand you. The same goes for syntax of a language. Although they may understand that you've said something wrong, it helps greatly to speak a common language when it comes to the syntax of C-sharp. With that said, let's test what you have learned so far. This test does have a few tricks in it, so be prepared. As always, be honest, don't be afraid to get the questions wrong, and if you don't score 100% the first time, go back and watch the lesson again and come back until you do score 100%. So the first question is, can a statement be valid syntax if it is spread over multiple lines? Is it always, only if the break occurs at specific points, or never? Now we did cover this in the video, think about it, let me know your answer, and we'll see how you get on. And the answer is, only if it breaks at a specific point. As I mentioned, it has to break at specific points, for example, at the periods or the parentheses. It cannot break in the middle of a word, for example. The next question is, where is the method right line found? Is it in system.console, console, or does it depend if you use the using statement using system? Think about this one carefully and read the question and let me know your answer. The answer is system.console. The method is always found in system.console. That's where it exists. It simply allows your code a shorthand way to quickly reference console without always having to specify system.console. However, the method is still always found and exists in system.console. So that one's a bit tricky. But remember that because that's important if somebody did ask you where a method is found. You wouldn't just tell them it's in console because your code says console. You have to understand that by adding the using system directive, all you are doing is allowing your code a shorthand way of accessing that location. The next question is, what are these symbols called? Are the curly brackets, curly braces, or squiggly brackets. Again, think about this, think of what I've said, and let me know your answer. Now the answer here is technically every one of these. This is something you will find in development. Not everything is black and white. I always call them curly braces. I'd say 90% of people I've met call them curly braces. But for example, the Wikipedia reference to brackets classes these officially as curly brackets. And then there are some developers that call them squiggly brackets, although that's lesser. So in theory, the answer is all of them because it's a preference in this case. But what I would tell you to use is curly braces because that's well understood and everybody will understand. If you use curly, they will understand. Squiggly, some won't understand. So curly brackets or curly braces is my recommendation here. The next question, what are code blocks? Are they a block of zero or more statements, a block of one or more statements, or a class or a method inside a code block? Let me know your answers and let's see how many get this right. So the answer is a block of zero or more statements it simply means you can have an open and closed code block using curly braces and have nothing inside that is still a valid code block. You don't have to have statements inside. A class or a method can exist inside of code blocks, but they are not the only statements that can exist. Next up, when a line of code is run by a computer, what is it called? Is it to exclude, to execute, or an expression. This one I'm hoping all of you get 100%, so let me know your answer and let's see how you do.
And the answer is, of course, to execute. To exclude is obviously to not include something, to remove it. To execute is to perform an action to do. And an expression is a form of action that returns a result. So the answer here is execute. Next up, what is a statement? Is it a single action the computer will execute one by one? Or is it a method that the computer will run one by one? I've mentioned this many times, so hopefully you all get this right. And the answer is a single action the computer will execute one by one. A method is a group of statements that can be executed. It isn't a single action itself. Now this one might be tricky. What three things use code blocks? Is it methods, namespaces, and statements? Is it usings, methods, and classes? Or is it methods, namespaces, and classes? Now this is things that have code blocks after them. And the correct answer is methods, namespaces, and classes. Now that one might have been difficult for those not paying complete attention in the lesson. The first answer is invalid because a statement uses a semicolon and doesn't have a code block. And the second is invalid because a using directive ends in a semicolon. Now time for a bonus question. This one I wouldn't class as important to know. I'm simply testing how observant you guys are into trivial things that can be important later in code. So let's see how many of you noticed and remembered this fact. The question is, what error did we get when we had the missing semicolon? Was it CS1001, CS1002, or CS1002? Now this was on screen and it was fairly big, but let's see how many of you actually got this. And the answer is CS1002. I'd be really impressed if the majority of you got that right and it shows great attention to detail. But if not, don't worry about this one. This isn't as important, it'll rarely ever come up. But it's good to pay attention to things that may not seem important at the time because in code, little details are often very important. So again, hopefully you guys scored well on this test and if not, don't be afraid to go back and do the lesson and test again. And if you have any further questions on the test, Feel free to leave a comment.